Welcome to Chisholm Trail 61. Today we doing, that's a good dessert. We doing a lemon dream dessert. And the first thing you're going to need is a pack of the golden Oreo. Be sure you get the family size. Uh, what I've done, I put them in a freezer bag, a gallon size freezer bag, and I just crushed them up, you know, real good. I got a 9 by 13 bacon dish, casserole dish that I sprayed lightly with uh, cooking spray. I'm just going to dump my crumbled up Oreo cookies in into the uh, casserole dish. And here I have one and a half cups, I mean, one and a half sticks, I'm sorry, one and a half sticks of uh, melted butter. It's three quarters of a cup. I'm just going to pour that over at real good. I'm just going to take a fork and I'm just going to mix all that together. Instead of using graham crackers, we're going to use Oreo cookies, the golden Oreos for our crust on this, this dessert here. And this is going to be good. A dream lemon dessert. What we're going to do once we get all them wet, we're just going to take our fork here and we're just going to sort of Mash this down and spread it around. We don't want to come up the sides with it now. We just want to want to do the bottom. Just try to sort of even it out there. Like I said it don't have to be perfect, but you know just close you can get it there. And what I did with Morio is like I said, I just sort of Took them out of the pack, put them in a freezer bag, and took my uh, meat tenderizing mallet and just beat them and crushed them up. And then you use a fork to spread it around with so any, any pieces that didn't get crushed up good, once you get that butter on them, it'll, it'll crush up down, you know, real easy under the fork. You won't have to worry about it. And you can use a food processor and crush them if you want to. But uh, I just used a, used a freezer bag and a meat tenderizing mallet. That looks pretty good there. So we're just going to set this fork over here out of the way. We're going to put this in the refrigerator here. We're going to leave it sitting in the refrigerator while we move on to the next thing. Next layer. Yeah. In the bowl here, I got eight ounces of cream cheese that I've had sitting out probably for about an hour softening up. And uh, we're going to just take us uh, our mixer here. We're just going to sort of get it smoothed out for some. Just want to beat it till we get it smooth, so it won't take just a minute. I'll show you here. You can see how it's smooth there. And what we want to do, we're going to add one cup of sugar to it. But we're just going to add it one quarter of a cup at a time. So we're going to add one quarter cup of sugar at a time. Till we get one cup and then we're going to mix it again. Just start off slow there so we don't sling sugar everywhere. Once that gets mixed in, we get us another quarter cup. And just pour in. Yeah. 
and a third quarter cup. And number four. That's one cup of sugar. Set that over to the side and we're going to mix this up really well. And what we're going to do, since we got that in there, we're going to take and scrape the sides down to be sure that we got all the sugar in there. We don't want to leave any of it out. So just take and scrape the sides down on it. Be sure we get it all in there. You can see how creamy and runny that is now. Not really runny, but creamy and smooth. Just gonna set that mixer over out of the way, and you can see see how smooth and creamy that is looking. What we got here, we got 16 ounces of whipped topping. Now we're uh, we're only going to put half of it in right now, so we're going to dip out about half of our whipped topping, and we're going to put it right in with our cream cheese mixture. You can use two different tubs if you want to. If you got two eight ounce tubs, that'll work just fine. But you want to just put about half of it in with your cream cheese mixture here, and then we're gonna set the other half back over here for a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna need it again here in just a little bit. We're gonna take our our spatula here, and we're just gonna fold that Cool Whip into our cream cheese. If we get it all mixed up good. You can see how I'm just folding it in. Going around the bottom, around the side, around the bottom, and then cutting back through the middle. We just want to get it mixed in good. We'll scrape our sides down. Be sure that we got all of the goodness off of the sides there. And then we're going to fold it a couple more times. And what we're doing, we're just building our layers for our dessert there. And you can see how that's creamy and smooth. And we're just going to set that over to the side for a minute. We're going to get us another bowl here. And in this bowl, we're going to put two of the 3.4 lemon instant pudding mix. There's two of them, two boxes of them, two packs of them, whatever you want to call it. We're just going to empty that over in into the bowl here. Set that over out of the way. We're going to get another one here. Empty it in there. We're going to set it over out of the way. And then in the refrigerator here, we're going to take out three and one quarter.
cups of milk. Now you want your milk real good and cold to help set your uh, put instant pudding. That's why I kept it in the refrigerator till I was ready for it. We're just going to dump all that over in there. We're going to take this whisk and we're going to whisk it. And what we're going to do, we're going to just twist this until it, it turns into a pudding like. You just want to keep whisking till it turns into a pudding like. Once it gets that pudding consistency, then it'll it'll be ready to go. Oh yeah, you can see now how we got a pudding consistency there with it. So and we're just gonna set this over to the side. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our our crust back out of the refrigerator. We're going to check and see uh, how it feels. Yeah. Feels like it's starting to set up. We're going to just take and put a cream cheese mixture on top of our crust here. Want to just sort of dollop it around, spread it around. We well, got that spread out pretty good there now. Well, I'm going to be licking the bowl there in a few minutes on that. I guarantee you I will be. <laughs> We're going to take our pudding mixture here now. Let's see, I hope I didn't get that out of the camera, but we got that spread out. And what we're going to do, we're just going to take, I'm going to take that spoon and do this here. Gonna dip this this pudding out around on top of our cream cheese mixture here. Man, if y'all can smell that lemon pudding, man, that smells good. Making my mouth water. Put this last little bit out here. That's another bowl I'll be licking here in a minute. I'm just going to spread this around. Try to just get it evened out there. So, Man, what you talking about? Now we're going to take this other eight ounces of cream cheese here. I mean, not cream cheese, eight other eight ounces of Cool Whip. I'm sorry. I got that cream cheese on mine. Man, I love cream cheese. I got that on mine. I'm going to stir this up real good. Be sure that it spreads easy. Now we're just going to sort of dollop it right on top of our, our pudding there. Right on top of that lemon put. Y'all know the hardest part of this is coming up next, right? But before I get that, I want to tell y'all you can if you want to. And I didn't because I, I prefer mine just like this. But you can if you want to when you fix your crust. You can save you about a half of a cup of your uh, Oreo crumb mix and sprinkle on top. But I prefer mine on, on the bottom on the crust, so I didn't save a half cup to put on top, but you can. But the hardest part of this is now it's got to go in the refrigerator for at least two hours to set up real good. And uh, believe you me, that's the hardest part of it. But just look at them layers there. Man, does that look good or what? See them layers on there? 
Mm, mm, mm. Man, I can't wait to get into this. Hey, we're going to put it in the refrigerator. We're going to wait this two, at least two hours. We're going to try to anyway. And then uh, we'll bring it back and we're going to cut into this joker and have us a taste. Okay, we got our uh, lemon dessert here out of the refrigerator. It's been sitting for a couple of hours there. We're going to cut into it and we're going to get us a bite of it out. I'm going to take a knife and cut into it because I want to cut that crust all the way through. I'm going to try not to break the crust whenever I go to taking it out. I don't want to don't want to tear it up if I can keep from it. Of course, I, I may or may not can. We're going to try it and see, can we? Try to get in there in that piece right there. Boy, just look at that cool whip on there. Mm. Mm -hmm. See, can we get this piece here to slide out of here first? Slide right in under it. See, can we get it to come up there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to taste this bad boy. Look at that, would you? Mm, mm, mm. Man, you see all them different layers, different flavors. I got to get me a bite of this. I can't wait. Can't wait no longer. Like I said, the hardest part of it is waiting the two hours for it to set up. Man, let me talk about a dessert now. So simple, so easy. Go together really quick. Like I said, the hardest part of it is waiting the two hours for it and it has to sit in the fridge right today. Hey, if you would, give the old video a thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you do. Appreciate all of you take time out of your day to watch our videos. Lemon Dream Dessert. No bait. Refrigerator cake. We'll see you on the next one.